might have f***ed up. How'd that happen? What's up guys, this is G with Test Bros, and today we are going to be changing out the center console 1.0 on the Model 3 2018 with the center console 2.0. So let me just show you this real quick. The main thing is the sliding door right here. So you can see that it's kind of like the Model S where it has a sliding door and it has a smooth slide. On top of that, this is also in like a very like sand gray finish. Uh, it's definitely a lot better than the piano black that we used to have in center console 1.0. And you can see that right here, there's not a compartment anymore. And this is actually the charging pad. I really want to put this on my Model 3 because this is a unicorn. This is a silver Model 3 that they don't have it available anymore. So I'm gonna make it even cooler and add the center console 2.0. One thing I'm concerned about installing this thing on my Model 3 is when I install the Handshell version 6 auto trunk, um, I found out that the canvas was actually a little bit different size. So the newer ones, which is 2019 to 2021, they have a smaller, I guess, width. So let me just show you real quick. Uh, the canvas is located right here. So you can see I already have a pigtail over here and this is my trunk. And this right here is also the 2019 to 2021 version. And I just want to show you a comparison. This is what it looks like. This is the other end. So if this were to go here, this needs to fit for this to be able to work. So uh, a little bit of a, I guess, foreshadow is I don't think I'll be able to install the Saturn Console 2.0 on my 2018 Model 3 uh, because of this canvas issue. I'm not really aware of an adapter out there. I Googled and I couldn't find one. And even then, I'm not really quite sure if I do remove this, do all that stuff, if it will work since it's not connected via campus. So, unfortunately, sad day. Can't install this on my unicorn of a Tesla. Anyway, so we're gonna install it on the Model Y. It's inside the shop. Don't look here, it's dirty. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's dirty. This is not how we keep our tools typically. Um, so, we need some trim removal tools. Just gonna grab a bunch. Um, you need a T20. I like this one because it's really small. Mm. Sorry, air compressor. Uh, this is really small, so this is a T20, and I believe this is all you need. Um, I have one more over here. This is the same T20, but it's like a more heavy duty one. So I have two, one's a little bit longer and I got a bunch of trim tools. Pretty much the first thing that we need to do is remove all the panels from the side, from the back. And then I've actually already removed the canvas area in the back, but I'll show you how to remove that. Uh, this isn't a step-by-step -step guide, just so you guys know. And then after we remove it, we're going to be um, taking out the security controller, swapping it, and then installing it back here. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, when you are removing any connections, you have to make sure you turn this off. We've lit it up, we have lights up here and lights on the side so you guys can see a little bit better. So first, let's just get removed the summit of the panel. There you go. So I like using this thing right here and then I get under it and then it's a bunch of clips. But so this shouldn't be too hard to remove. And then of course, I feel like whenever I'm on camera, like things are harder to remove. A little longer than a few minutes later. Looks like I kind of broke that one. Uh -oh. All right. Oh, that was, uh, that sucks. But cool, I got this off. Uh, I'm gonna do the same for the other side. But you can see that once you do that, it dislodges this thing. I'm gonna take a look at the one that I have over there and then figure out which bolts I need to take out. But it looks like this bolt, this bolt is roughly about it. This is two bolts and then I'm sure on the side as well. That came 
so much easier on this side. All right, if you just pull that, it just comes out, it looks like. All right, awesome. So as I mentioned earlier, this is a canvas. And you can see these are the connectors. Remember, do not disconnect anything until you have turned off the power. Just looking at this right now, it looks like there's another bolt right here, another bolt here. And it looks like there's one, two, three, about six bolts. So it's actually a 10 millimeter. Um, so just make sure you have that in place. So again, two bolts over here that I see that absolutely. Um, if you look over here, that's a USB cable right over here, I believe. So we do need to disconnect that before we move anything. Um, and make sure to turn off the car before you move any connections. So that's a very, very big, important step to this. So let's go to the other side again. Awesome. And again, I told you there's two bolts on the side. So, right. Uh... <laughs> Uh, no, that's not the issue. I got the wrong size. It is, it is 3A. Oops. All right, I think I got the right one. Let's try to move the thing forward. We got the seats back up, thanks to Marley. Are you tweeting? Yeah. As far as, oh. I think it's coming out, I think we're good. Go ahead and go, oops, sorry, that was me. <laughs> Power off. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this canvas over here. Oh, it came out really, really easy. That one stays. Cool. This is the one that's gonna connect. We didn't touch anything or close anything, did we? I didn't. Okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the USB, which is on this side. This is the USB connector right here. Uh, I'll remove it and I'll show you what connector it is because I really don't know. Oh, there you go. So it's just, uh, I guess this is called, a, is there a micro USB, I think? I'm gonna try removing this myself. It's supposed to come up. There we go. So, oh. Okay. Oh, uh. So, get my breath back. That's pretty much it. This is the center console 1.0. So, I'm gonna compare it side by side just to show you guys. This is dislodged, and obviously it doesn't come like this, it comes more like this. But the reason why I had to dislodge this is because it, I'm gonna remove this from here, swap this part out, connect it, and then after that, install it. Here's why. If you don't have this, again, like I said, the key card, this is the authenticator. It doesn't actually do it in the computer here, it does it right here. So if you don't have this, or if you swap it, it will break your computer. Um, so this is really important to swap out. I already have it dislodged right here. But um, I'm going to dislodge this first and then disassemble it. I'll kind of show you how a little bit. Um, you don't have to, you can see that this is wrapped as well in Galaxy Black. You don't have to remove like every single part, but you do need some trim removers. Don't touch any buttons. The reason why we're really scared about like touching any buttons is because if you touch any of the buttons, the car will come back on, nothing's connected. It might break the computer, so we don't want to do that right now. So as you know, you put a key card right here and that's what it authenticates and say whether you could drive it or not. You just remove these trims over here. Definitely sounds like it's breaking, but it's not, I swear. Is this T20s. Um, for those of you asking how much is this for center console, 2.0, it's quite pricey. It's like 850 or something like that for the part. It is over the counter, which means that uh, you could get it um, yourself. But it's gonna run you about a thousand after shipping and all that, so it's quite high. Um, this right here, there's a bunch of clips, so you just kind of push it up. 
and you see I'm able to dislodge this rail over the center console. This allows me to pry this off. So I'm gonna do the same for the other side. Awesome. So that was the last one. And the same thing on this side, just push it up right here, there's two clips. Now you can see it come out. And now to remove this is a lot easier than a lot of people think. There's Let me just show you the other one as far as the clips. So if this is the same thing, three clips here in the middle and one in the side. So, so again, the security controller is right there, which means that if I just dislodge this one, there you go. So some of these clips, if you see it, some are harder than others just because it has this little mechanism where it holds on. It can get really stubborn. So just be careful. Obviously that's a weak point. So you don't want to pull on that middle part. Awesome. All right, remove this over here. This is actually the security controller that I was talking about. I'm gonna remove this and compare the two. Mm -hmm. This is the old one this is the new one um, so this is the metal trim that goes on like that anyway so part number this is 11002410H 11012410G so that's actually slightly different um, not sure if that's going to be an issue but we're about to find out but as far as the main part number it is the same so what we're going to try to do is replace this put it in here connector is the exact same and see if that would fix the issue of breaking your model 3 by taking out the center console so let's go ahead and do that all right to take it out there's just a little clip right here uh, let's not get confused with both of them so I'm going to be removing that putting it here it looks like it fits so far so that's nice there you go and I'm going to just put it back. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Again, it's an easy clip. And this right here is on the side. So let me see how this clips. Fills in. There we go. And then there it is. Again, this is the same thing. I put the rail on earlier, so I'm going to remove that again. Awesome. So that fit just fine. This rail is going to grab that. Cool. Well, that fit really well sliding door still works fine and boom I'm also just gonna leave it as is and then going to try to see if this works first before I even do that pretty well I wonder if it'll fit considering this is off I don't think it'll fit okay um, I decided to put it back on mainly because um, I don't want to deal with it not fitting and then bringing it back out so I'll go ahead and do that awesome cool cool four five six on each side there's quite a lot up as well so all right a lot of screws so I got this up if you look at this that's the connector right here bunch of clips one two three four five six seven eight clips on each side there you go that wasn't that bad all right so now that you have this the clips are really easy I won't or way easier the moment of truth Will this work or will this brick my Model Y? We'll find out. 
I'm gonna just lay it down here. I'm gonna come from the back like I did. Uh, all right, so let's see if we can line this up. Come around here. Oh, not a good position. There. I know. So. Not harder than it looks, you know. Oh no, what happened? How? I might have f***ed up. How'd that happen? I don't know. I might have screwed it up. How are we doing there? Mm, you're so, yeah, you're you're good on this side. You're like perfect. Okay. We might have bricked the computer. Uh, maybe we touched something accidentally. So that kind of sucks. But let's let's connect it all back. USB. There's the USB right there. Okay. So it might not work anymore just because we screwed that up. It's saying tap key card and press break to drive. So it doesn't feel like it's braked yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Holy shit, it works. It works. <laughs> I'm able to actually drive right now. I'm on reverse. All right guys, it's G with Test Pros and got awesome news. Check this out. Okay, I really need to fix that. <laughs> we screwed up, obviously. But, I'm not even worried. That's honestly the least of my worries. Also, one thing if, to check if this works. Wireless charging works. Okay. The car is actually working, so I'm happy about that. Oh shit, I forgot it's not connected. I need to turn off the car. It turned off again. The... Do not touch anything, especially the brake. You got it, Brad. I believe in you. Oh, far out. That's what it was. So he came out of this hole right there that you see. And this is actually what holds the center, I mean, the sliding door. And that's all that was missing. For some reason, it keeps turning back on. So, it's annoying. Turn off. Probably gonna turn back on. If it is, it's I guess it's like a sensor or something. But it's not doing that right now, so good. That's the good news. I'm gonna see if I could just put it on while it's on here. I'm doing something wrong because every oh there's a sensor every time I do this. Oh. So it was you the first time. No, it's not. Yes, it was. <laughs> but still. I didn't realize that that turns on the whole car. That's weird. But the other thing is, it doesn't work again. There we go. <laughs> so if you're taking out this, it helps to kind of use a pry tool like this. And that actually loosens it up. 
So if you do need to take this out 13 times like me, you know. Oh, I gotcha. There you go. All right. All right, what is going on? Oh. This thing over here keeps getting caught whenever I put it, so I need to figure out a way. Wait, wait, is that a clip on it? Yeah, where does it supposed to go up here somewhere? Yep. All right, so guys, that was it right there. Doing it, yeah, just doing it. Okay. So guys, do not forget that clip. If you do, you will move this like 15 times, like me. I feel like removing trims. Be my guest. But you really don't want to do this much because the clips do get weak. All right, canvas is connected. I'm going to reconnect the USB. All right, round two. Let's see if it works again. There we go. There you go, guys. Charge it. Oh yeah, charge my phone. Let's make sure that that works. Look at that. Lovely. Oh, and let me show you that mean message that it does. All right. Close, gen close console lid gently. Still comes on. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put all these bolts back on. We're gonna do the front first and then the back. And then we're gonna put all the trims back on and this should be ready to go. And then we're gonna wrap this. So stay tuned, we're gonna keep going, let's go. So now that we have the center console 2.0 installed, of course, we have to install the center console wrap that we made. So I'm going to clean it real quick. And this is super easy. Um, as far as honestly, this is probably easier than the center console 1.0. One, there's just less parts. And then two, um, this thing is great because you can use it as kind of like a alignment piece, right? So it's quite nice. All right, guys, so that pretty much sums it up. Uh, so glad it's working. Um, you know, thank you so much to Tesla for helping us out as far as giving us the information needed to do this correctly. So if you guys have any other questions, just feel free to, you know, reach out to us via email, um, social media, Facebook. That's my train of thought. Am I closing? Yeah. I'm tired. Um. Okay, I really need to fix that. You screwed up.